Hi everybody, welcome to my Katya Beauty Stella channel. Yes, it's a hurricane situation in Nordstrom, oh sorry, in Tampa, Florida. But I got very lucky, Nordstrom let us go home early. And I decided, you know what, let me create something easy, nude look. It's like makeup, no makeup. And I decide, let me use this gorgeous limited edition uh, palette from Tom Ford. It's only $90. <laughs> Again, it's limited edition, but it is beautiful. Very, very pretty. Let me come close to camera and you will see how gorgeous my eyes. Yes, look at my eyes, so pretty. We have sparkle here. We have a beautiful eyeliner. We have a gorgeous highlighter. I really, really like this look. I like glow on my face. I love this nude lip color. And of course, I will show you step by step how I create this look. We're gonna use, of course, this is palette, $90. It's coming with two brushes, remember, limit addition. Then on my lips, I have this spectacular, spectacular lip balm. I'm gonna use a lot of Tom Ford products in this video. I will tell you a lot of minus and pluses, what I will buy, what I will not waste of money, but then we're also gonna have something like this. I'm teasing you, yes, I love this mascara. I just love this soft, nude look and if you like please give me a like share my video subscribe my youtube channel and of course instagram i always make a short video like short you see on my instagram and then you know full video big video it's coming later on and i feel again like holiday christmas it's almost here i'm gonna do a one video and it's i'm just gonna have a big big giveaway to my clients to my friends to my youtube family who i know comments below supporting me i know who's supporting me love you more than ice cream let's start this video please subscribe and give me like I have already skincare on my face and what I need just primer illuminating brightening some products and I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I'm gonna use this is my primer and this product also will give me glow also will even my skin and will give me nice beautiful look look at just one side of my face and another some people they can use this like foundation if you have a good skin or you just want little little nice beautiful glow look at this how pretty and this is without and this is color it's number two it's very hard to purchase this at nordstrom i usually i believe buying this in ulta <laughs> now i'm gonna use brand new foundation from trish mccavoy it will be my first experience first try <laughs> i'll say on front of camera in front of you this is its color form it's a light neutral color this is its foundation named trish mccavoy gorgeous gorgeous foundation with niacinamide and it was hyaluronic medium coverage and this is foundation it's and skincare together uh, again it is this is it's a medium medium coverage but i have a little bit breakout here a little bit pigmentation here i'm looking for a full coverage let's see i 
I'm gonna use Beauty Blender. Actually, this is Beauty Blender from Trish McAvoy. And let's see, let's see how this foundation goes on my skin. And I'm gonna put little bit, little bit under my eye area. Oh, you can see it's a very nice, beautiful glow. Yes, it is medium, definitely not full coverage. But you know what? I'm makeup artist. I know how to build full coverage. I'm just going to a little bit apply more right here. With my finger, with just my finger I'm working. And now you can see this foundation. Wow. Yes. Of course we have a filter from Trish McAvoy. <laughs> but here together this foundation and Charlotte Tilbury give me nice beautiful glow look. Now I'm gonna use concealer from It Cosmetic and you can see right here it's brush and right here it's applicator. Bye bye. It's named Bye Bye Dark Spots. But it's mean bye bye my dark circles and my little bit marks which one I need still probably touch up for coverage but I'm gonna apply right here I like it's a light texture but give me a nice beautiful beautiful coverage but I for some reason I don't care about this brush I will try right now but uh, I don't know why it's you know what? I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. <laughs> now, I actually have right here samples double wear foundation and I'm gonna apply right here and right here. This is where I want to cover because I have little bit breakout here and it's bothering me. Okay, and double wear, I know it stay all day long. <laughs> Foundation feels really good, very hydrated, but I can feel I need to set this foundation because I just don't know when I get in feeling it can move this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have again using Beauty Blender and I have today transparent loose powder from Lancome. Let's set first, first my concealer. Concealer it's done and now I'm gonna have a big brush and I'm gonna use this transparent powder from Lancome and I'm just gonna basically press press this product to my skin just like this. Pop 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 I'm setting my foundation. And because it's transparent, it's very sheer, it's not giving me enough any coverage, but I do like how my skin looks. It's giving me this nice, beautiful, blurry effect. But I feel like I still need a little bit, to, we'll say, powder to more even my skin. I'm gonna use powder from Tom Ford and it's translucent finishing powder 0 of 2 ivory fun. If you don't want to do this two steps it's okay you can just use your powder or I do like this powder from Tom Ford a lot. Voila, yes, this is such a beautiful, beautiful powder. Uh, again, it's it just feels so good, like silky, small. I am impressed with this powder. I feel my eyelids so dry. I'm going to apply one more time this concealer and I'm going to use Beauty Blender. And I come in very close to camera. I want you to see, look at how my eyelids look so smooth. I don't see any, any dryness. It's even my skin. But here, what you need to do, you must put powder to set this concealer. If you're not gonna do, it's gonna later on, your eyeshadow gonna run and crease. 
Before we apply an eyeshadow, I do have a little bit powder on my brows, but I'm going to just comb a little bit my eyebrow. And I like my eyebrow look lighter. I feel I look way more younger. After I brows, I'm going to use this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I like this two matte color, and then I have a two shimmer color but I not yet know exactly texture. I can t tell these two texture, but I don't know this texture and I don't know this texture. Ooh, and I'm gonna try, okay, metallic bronze. And this is, it's more like a sparkly, sparkly. And again, this is, looks like, ooh, rich, rich, creamy texture. And then, you know what, let's try this uh, another uh, orange, okay? Matte, matte, matte color. You can see this color. And one more color, it's this one. It's lighter color. You know what, let me put right here. Oh, this is will be a you barely can see it's a little bit perfect color to put like all over your eyelid okay let's start also i need to remind you please follow me on instagram if you see some look you like it you know in one in two weeks i will have a full entire video and i think my instagram it's really really fun okay i show you like some brand new releases at nordstrom i always post it when we have like a 15% off, 20% off, when we have gift with purchase or what it's new, it's coming. Okay, and of course, if you like this video, please give me like, subscribe, comments below. I appreciate your love, your like, your love, everything. <laughs> I have a big blending brush. I actually sure like this big mirror here. And we're gonna start using this lightest color. And I'm gonna apply this light color right here. Basically, let's do on the entire of my eyelid. But I'm gonna leave uh, this close to my brow, this area. I'm not gonna apply right here. So far, eyeshadow goes very beautiful on my lid. Wow, I love this. This is such a like, beautiful, again, soft beige color. Slightly, slightly maybe uh, orange and the tone, but it's not intense. I have only one color and I use blending brush. Now I have another blending brush. It's a big blending brush and I'm going to use this color. This is, will be your second color and this is a little bit like more orange, orange color and I'm going to start you put this color on a corner. I apply right here close to my lashes and I'm gonna make like a letter C. You see one, two, three, letter C. And I this is it's my circle area. I apply in this color above my circle area and I am right now don't even add in any color all they do just blending 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 and making the shadow a little bit more softer and softer and softer Again, I have only one, two colors, sorry. You can see whereas I have this orange matte color, whereas I know it is big, big difference. This is it's lift already, this technique, and give me nice pop. Again, I apply, I don't want to all the way, just half of my eye, close to my lashes, I went up, and I always name this letter C. And I apply it above my suckle area. This is it's a suckle area right here, and I apply it up. Now I'm using the same brush, and I'm gonna use this orange color 
underneath very very close where is my lashes I just want my eye make a little bit bigger now I have again big blending brush I'm gonna one more time go underneath soft soft this eyeshadow then I also using this big brush and I'm just blending 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 just like this and now we're gonna use again blending brush <laughs> I'm telling you I have like 20 blending brush and all my brushes always always clean if you come to Nordstrom Tampa store and you will look at my brushes I always have clean brushes I never never have a dirty brushes it's just I can work with dirty brushes I wash in my brushes couple times per day and I wash in my brushes every time when I finish my makeover it just I like to puree I will, will say I like clean brushes <laughs> now I'm gonna use the North brush blending brush small one girls if you don't yet have this brush I highly recommend of course I will put link below and now we're gonna use this uh, bronzy brown color it feels really really creamy and I'm gonna apply again very very close to my lashes from here and I'm pushing this color up I feel I need different brush. Uh, the colors don't go like I want to go and we need a flat brush. I'm gonna use my brush 200 and from Chanel and I'm gonna we have blending brush and we have flat, flat brush and I'm gonna use flat flat this brush and now I'm gonna apply right here. Oh yeah and color go totally different. this is darker color little bit messy it's fall down right here i'm gonna just remove with my powder brush i'm gonna a little bit more careful now i have again clean blending brush from north and we're gonna use this lighter color and i'm gonna apply right here on the corner now it's time for me to use setting mist and I'm using Charlotte Tilbury and I do not even wait this product to dry I'm gonna use my finger and now we are gonna use this beautiful shimmer eyeshadow which one I am applying kind of like right here i will start from my corner and then i apply it on the center let me come close to camera i have this beautiful tom ford illuminator for face but i'm gonna use for my eyes i have a small brush from north again it's your blending small brush I'm gonna apply a little bit right here close to my brows and you can see just applying halfway I don't go all the way I want the sleeve just right here everybody it's different but I like to curl my eyelashes right now and then I'm gonna use liquid eyeliner from Tom Ford it's one of my favorite it is expensive but I really really like this eyeliner now I have magnified mirror and I'm gonna use use liquid eyeliner and all what I do I just press 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 close to my lash line now I feel a little bit pale of course a little bit pale but blush and bronze it's coming I'm gonna use nude eyeliner on my waterline because actually when I apply this orange eyeshadow I 
did a little bit maybe sloppy job <laughs> and I put eyeshadow on my waterline. Let me put just this nude eyeliner. And now, are you ready for this? Are you ready or not? Woo! Bright blue mascara from its Saint Laurent. Look at this color. But you know what? When I saw this, like, I need this mascara. I applied first Lancome primer. I want my eyelashes look really, really big and full. And now, are you ready? Let's get ready together. I come to you close. I want you to see how beautiful this mascara. It's not too, too bright like you see in uh, on a brush, sorry, but it's definitely blue. You know what? It is pretty, but I feel it's a little bit too much blue. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do. I like it, but I knew it's like too much fakey looking. And I'm gonna apply right now black mascara just a few times. I can still see this blue, but it looks way more better. And I love this look. And now let me come to a camera and I will just show you how this look right now. How this eyelashes look. You see blue, but it's not a fakey like a blue. It's really pretty. I think my eyes look amazing today i love this color that looks soft but it just really really sexy again limited edition if you like you need to buy right now and now i'm gonna use this tom ford lip balm again it's limited edition and for lip liner i'm gonna use charlotte tilbury hot gossip and now i'm gonna use this gorgeous lip balm I use this lip balm. If you think about you're gonna have this all shimmer on your lips, no, you're not gonna have any shimmer. It's just gonna give you hydration. And you saw I have like it's a deeper color lip, not deeper color, but a little bit darker. This lip balm just soft this lip liner and it looks so pretty. This is it's a sample I got from Nordstrom, and this is Tom Ford Shade and Illuminating Highlighting Dual Palette. It is $90, it's a vitamin E, and the both pretty shimmer on the tone. I'm gonna use this like is my yeah, we'll say sculpting color and this color I'm gonna use is my highlighting color. I have a nurse brush and I'm gonna use this darker color first and I apply right here in the corner and I push in up this product. I personally don't care about this palette, $90 and I'm not happy, mm -mm -mm. but I'm gonna use right now contour a palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and you know what, let's use this middle color just a little bit right here close to my hairline, something very very quicker, again it's getting darker outside i'm coming back to this palette and i'm applying highlighter right here i do like how highlighter this color go on my cheek really really just give me this glow i just love how this color look on, on me it just second color i don't care but Again, I still a little bit pale and let's use some beautiful blush, which one I have also from Tom Ford. And you can see we have two colors here. I have Charlotte Tilbury brush. I'm going to use this uh, color first and it's like more, more like a uh, soft brown peach color and I actually apply on right here like is my bronze 
Then I'm going my cheek and I using is my like circle and motion. It's going to give me a color, but it's not, not much color. We finish apply this color and now I'm going to apply this color. This blush not much pigmented. This is why I apply a lot on my brush. And you can see I'm basically layering this color. I stop, stop, stop my, I'll say, cheek. <laughs> Just adding and adding and adding more color. I reapplied blush few times, like 10 times to build a color. This looks really beautiful, but I'm not sure if I will pay this money for this blush. And to me, right now it's full, it's a little bit too spring, but I think it's beautiful. I finished in my video. I hope you like this look. Love you more than ice cream. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Love you more than ice cream. Bye, everybody.